Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I wanted to share something that I'm fixing for Harold and, and me to eat, and it's something that I shared early on. Um, but I've got so many new followers until I thought, well, I'm going to show you what I'm doing today. Matter of fact, the recipe is in my volume one, and it's on page two. It's called Crescent Pepperoni Roll Ups. Well, I'm going to make it the same way, but I'm going to add something to ours. And if you would like to add it, you can. If you want to just follow the recipe as it is in the cookbook, that's fine also. But depending on how many you have in your family, of course, one can has eight. So that's plenty for Harold and me, and we'll have some left over. But kids love these, and adults too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, and, no way. Can't see the, I think it's right there. All right, I'm gonna unroll these, and you're going to have, the recipe calls for the uh, pepperoni slices, and it calls for the mozzarella cheese sticks cut in half. So that's what I did. I saved one of them to show you that what I did, I just cut it in half. Now, the recipe says that um, you're going to dip these in your pizza or marinara sauce, but I'm going to add just a little bit on here, and then we'll still have it to dip, but I just wanted a little bit. I don't think I added this before because it's not on my recipe but I like the sauce taste. And then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add pepperoni. You're gonna do two. We're gonna do two more. So, you wanna do four or five. Okay, then you're going to put your cheese, and what I didn't put before that Harold and I love is pineapple. I took one slice of pineapple, and I cut it into eight pieces, and I'm just going to put a little bit and a little slice of onion, and then I'm going to start rolling. Okay, we're going to put it down on the parchment paper. All right, I'm going to put my cheese, my bite of pineapple, onion, and start rolling. And of course, you're going to take your marinara sauce, pizza sauce, and when these get done, you want to heat it up a little. And you'll dip these in it, and oh my goodness, they're so good. If you wanted to put some peppers on it, you could. But now I'm going to make the other four that I'm not going to put the sauce on, and you'll be able to see the difference. It... Okay, and the cheese. And onion and pineapple. You know, I see a lot of people say pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, and it may not on yours. But if you like it, add it. When I did these for you before, I only put the pepperoni 
and the cheese. And just let me show you. Okay. And you roll it up and you see it's not messy at all. But sometimes messy makes it taste better. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do these like that. You want a four or five slices of pepperoni. I'm doing four. And the cheese. I'm just going to roll them up. And you want to put that side down. Okay. I preheated my oven to 375 degrees. And you're going to cook these anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, I think. Or maybe it says on here. It says 12 to 15, but I want you to check yours. I'm going to check mine after 10. Depends on your stove, because not everyone's stove cooks the same. And you don't want to burn them. But these you could use as a party appetizer, or you could be like us and you could have them as your meal. Okay, now, you see there, there's eight of them. We're not going to eat all eight tonight, I don't think. We might. But anyway, I'm going to put these in the oven, and then when they're ready, I'll be back. Okay, these cooked about 11 minutes. And you can see how pretty and golden brown these back here, Harold, you can tell they have the the pizza sauce on them. Inside, okay. Yes, inside, and they have the onions and pineapple. These just have pepperoni and cheese, and I heated us just about 20 seconds, some of the pizza sauce, to dip it in. But Harold's going to, you want to test? You want to <laughs> yeah. test drop yeah. one of them? All right, it's up to you. That. Show them the, the the cheese is melted just a little. I know I'll make a mess. Go ahead. So you may have to talk while I do this. You can put whatever whatever you like on a pizza. You can put in it. onions, peppers, mm. you know, olives, whatever. Don't limit yourself. the The trick is is the uh, crescent roll. Mm. Just that makes it so easy. You don't have to worry about dough. Makes it so easy, and you can just uh, decorate. You can do all. Have, yeah. the, have the grandkids over and let them put whatever they want on theirs and cook them up that way. Yeah, and my recipe in the book, it said to sprinkle some garlic powder on them mm -hmm. before you bake them. Well, I didn't do that. Parmesan cheese. Parmesan yeah. cheese. Anything. But I just want to show you how simple it is, and this is in volume one. Every day someone sends me a message, how can I order your books? Go to my website. Do you know what my website is, Harold? Call Mama Sue. No. <laughs> it's Mama Sue's Southern Kitchen com, And there will be a tab that you can order cookbooks, volume one and Ask two. Ask your wife. You don't know how. That's the way right. I do it. That's right. But... These are really good. It didn't take long. Mm. Didn't make a mess. So, we just wanted to share with you something simple that we're going to eat. Tonight. That's right. right. And we're going to remind you to be salt and light wherever you go. Be different. Let your light shine for Jesus. The Christmas season is upon us and there's a lot of people who are alone. So, think about those. Think if you know of someone who doesn't have anyone, just give them a call or write them a note if you can't go visit. But just spread a little of Jesus' love wherever you go. And we'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye.